What's going on YouTube? Well, I've got big news. Really big news. Finally going to be a floor hand. Now, the last time I thought it was going to be a floor hand, it was three days before I was sent, going to be sent out. And oil bottomed out. Corona was just starting. And I was told the job was dissolved because they were closing down rigs and they weren't training any new guys. So, I just had a whirlwind three days. Um, I went to a small town in Alberta for an interview with a service rig company. And I'm sitting in my motel thinking, shit, I'm going to have to move and everything else and lose my apartment. And, but it was worth it because the pay was damn good. So, I was thinking, you know, kind of sucks. I just, I just signed a one-year lease for this apartment. So, I was a little bummed out. But... Uh, about an hour after sitting around in the motel room, because I had to stay in the motel, I rode my bike three hours, uh, freezing my ass off. But I was wearing um, some of the gear, winter gear, I'll show you here, why I could ride three hours in this kind of weather and not, uh, not get frostbite. <laughs> so I was sitting in my motel room, and I got a job. Uh, I got a job offer from another company, service rig company. They're going to bring me out to BC, do some training, I pick up my logbook, and then they're going to assign me to a rig uh, somewhere in Alberta. And uh, essentially I can work seven days a week for up to 24 days straight, and i got to take a 24-hour break, and then I just keep, some of their guys just keep working nonstop, and that's exactly what I want. Um, I didn't come out here to make penny change, I came out here to make damn good money. So, what did it take for me to get this job offer? Bugging the living shit out of the hiring manager. Literally. <laughs> um, I would say the first thing you want to do is you want to join some, um, some Facebook groups for sure. That, that's a huge help. You're going to make a lot of connections there. I absolutely 100% recommend that. Um, you can Google them on Facebook or you can Facebook search them, but they're, they're out there. Um, uh, oilfieldjobshop.com is a, a site I would be talking about if they had decided to endorse my page, but they just decided not to return my email, so I'm not going to endorse them. But they're a resource if you want it. Uh, Indeed, for sure, you want to look at that every day. Now, the way things are going right now, everybody's going to start hiring. And, I, and when I say everybody, I mean almost all the service rigs are going to be kicking into high gear now. So if you're looking for a job on a rig, right now is the best time to do it. So get out there, send out your resumes, call up, join Facebook groups, and bug the living shit out of everybody who ever posted an ad in some of the groups you joined because, believe me, you bug somebody enough who's a hiring manager what they're gonna what happened to me was hiring manager I've been I've been bugging this guy for like a month or so like uh, I've got all my tickets I got my driver's license can pass drug tests I'm ready to go ready to go ready to go well he sent me a message and said can you be ready Tuesday oh hell yeah I can so I had my choice between two different rigs two different companies uh, one was a really small company with four rigs. Um, they only have two running right now. And another company with 12 rigs. And these guys, I'm not going to say the name. I'm not going to tell you how much I'm making or where they're sending me specifically. But it's a lot of money. They're a much bigger company. And it's going to be a decent living. So, not really sure what, uh, what to look for or what I'm going to be doing once I get out there. Um, Apparently, they're going to send me to BC, pick up my logbook, and uh, everything else. So, I got something to show you. I'm going to show you all the gear I got here. Just a minute. So, this is all my gear. I don't know if you can see all this stuff. See all that? I don't know if you can see all that. It's 
So if you're going to work in the winter time, you're going to want to be prepared. Um, I went a little overhand, overboard <laughs> with, with what I got. And don't ask me how much I spent because I spent a lot. Um, a lot. <laughs> um, but you're going to want uh, boots. You're eventually going to want FR gear. Um, yeah, so things are going good. I'm going to be out in the rig soon. I'm uh, just waiting for a call from uh, waiting for a call from the, the, the hiring manager for Alberta. He's not sure if he's just going to fly me out to BC for training or whether or not he's just going to drive me out there. Because um, he, he, he's got family stuff, so I'm just waiting for him. So I don't know. Um, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> right now I'm just enjoying the morning coffee. <clears throat> and, oh, oops. Enjoying morning coffee. Talking to you folks, letting you know what's going on. So, if you're in my shoes and you want to get a job in a rig, um, the first time how I did it was hundreds and hundreds of emails. I think I'm over 300 emails sent, uh, at least 400 resumes applied on Indeed, um, maybe 200 Facebook messages maybe 200 cover letters sent, maybe about 100 phone calls. Yeah. I didn't get it for free. Took a lot of effort. <clears throat> I don't really know what to expect, but I'm going to be, hopefully you're going to follow my journey here. Um, I suspect that I'm going to get a call tonight that says, Ed, have all your shit ready. We're leaving tomorrow morning. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little scared because I just quit my full-time reliable job. It's about to slow down anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But uh, they want me back in the spring when things get busy. But I'll only be available for a couple months during spring breakup, and then I'll be back on the rigs again. So I don't really know what to expect here. Um... Coming out here was a big leap. Leaving your reliable $5,000 a month job is a leap, <laughs> you know. But uh, leaving a $5,000 a month job for a $10,000, $12,000, $13,000 a month job is a much better choice. You know, I, I, I don't know specifically how much I'm making. I didn't even ask. I don't need to because they all follow the same, pretty much all of them follow the same guidelines for pay. Um, some a little bit more than others, but the overtime and the LOA and everything else will amount to a lot more than I'm making right now, which is, it's okay money, it was, it was, it, it's a decent job, you know, you make $5,000 a month, that's just enough to pay bills, maybe put a little bit away, but not enough to do what I want to do in life. Um, you know, I want to own, you know, four or five houses. I'd like to own uh, maybe an eight, maybe ten apartment complex, like an eight or ten unit apartment complex. So when I retire, I've got enough to live really comfortably. Um, I don't want to struggle when I'm 65. I don't want to be, you know, like in my 70s having to work six days a week just to enjoy a couple small things in life. I don't want that. I want to work. Uh, I want to feel, you know, needed in society, but I don't want to have to struggle just to pay bills. And the only way I could do that, get out on the rigs, work my ass off, work hard, and um, hopefully everything will work out in the long run. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the oldest floor hand this company's ever hired, but I'm strong, I'm fit, sober, uh, I've got great work ethic, 
And if you don't have any of those things, you're not any of those things, I don't recommend, especially at my age, that you try this. If you're my age and you're not in shape and you don't have amazing work ethic, don't bother. Don't waste your time. You're going to fuck it up. And you're going to spend a whole lot of money trying to... Well, I mean, all the, all the clothes I got there, that's only half of what I got. I've got triple, actually, no, I've got triple that back in Kingston. So when I go back in November um, to pick up the rest of my winter gear, uh, I, I've got double that, what, what I just showed you. So it's not cheap. And uh, I'd say your number one thing that you definitely want to do, in my case, is go big on boots. Buy the most expensive, expensive, comfortable boots you can find because I haven't been out there during the winter yet, but I got boots that are rated for minus 75. I've got coveralls that are rated for minus 60. I'm pretty sure I'm going to appreciate the hell out of that shit when I get out there. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you're going to follow this journey with me as I, uh, as I head out to the rigs. I finally did it, man. Going to be a floor in. Pick up my logbook and uh, this, uh, well, I can log so many hours quickly, quick enough that I can move up to Derek, you know, probably six months or less. Depends how many hours I put in, but I could probably log enough hours for Derek in six months to a year. We'll see. I don't know. You know, I'm good with taking it slow and just learning, learning the process and enjoying life. So, um... <clears throat> This is your man, Ed. Um, go chase your dreams, stay healthy, stay fit, and be positive to other people because uh, karma's a bitch. And if you're not good to the people around you or to the world, it's going to bite you in the ass. I can promise you that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. I'll uh, do another video when I'm out in the rigs. Bye.